Michelle from NerdyMomsUnited.com and today we're going to talk about seven reasons why bloggers fail. Stick to the end, I have something special for you. So why do so many bloggers fail to make money online? The, same, the seven main reasons are you never got started, you gave up too easily, you didn't want to put in the hard work. You were struggling with delayed gratification mindset. People believe that blogging is a get rich fast game and that is so not true. Failure to invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, you're not going to get very far. And Sometimes I hear people say they're too old or too young to start a business. That's not true. So, reason number one, you never got started. If you ever heard the term, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, this is very true with blogging. If you never plan to get started, you're not going to reach the goal that you have with making money as a blogger online. And things will never change if you don't get started. You'll stay in the same position you are right now, doing what you're doing right now. If you don't get started, things won't change. And I bet you do want things to change because you're watching this video. I suggest do it for yourself. This is for you. Do it for yourself. You have to get started somewhere. Do it for you. If you need help getting started with blogging, I can help you. I have trained a lot of other mothers and women how to get their blog started. I've been doing blogging and web development design for over 15 years. I started blogging in the 90s before you could make money blogging, but at that time it was just a hobby and of course I wasn't making money from it because at that time there really wasn't a way to make money. There was no online stores from a blog and Amazon wasn't quite there yet and neither was Google. So leverage my experience so I can help you get started. I would love to see your questions down below in the comments. I would like to help you. Reason number two, you gave up too easily. Blogging is a marathon. It's not something that happens fast. Getting your website happens quickly and that part's easy. And writing up your post, that takes a little bit of time, but not too bad. But it takes time for your blog to get traction and to get an audience. So be patient with yourself and cut yourself some slack. Real benefits will take time when it comes to blogging. I didn't get my first big um, affiliate check until six months into blogging. That's right, I said six months in. So you need to be patient with yourself. There are people who are blogging as a hobby who haven't made a single dime. But if your goal is to make money online with your blog, I can help you get started and I can help you get set up for success. But it, you have to not give up. Don't give up too easily. So many throw in the towel because they gave up too easily. If this is your dream, go for it. Your dream is worth fighting for and don't let anyone tell you different. Just because they do not understand that you have a dream to start a business or you want to start a blog and make a living from it does not mean it's not a real vocation. People do it all the time. There are six-figure bloggers, seven-figure bloggers out there. They exist. They are real. And they are real people every day. Their moms and their dads out there actually making a living and actually making a real killing from it. But they all had to get started and they could not give up. If you don't, if they gave up too easily, they never would have reached that. So it really is up to you to go for your dream and fight for it. If you give up too easily, the business will just die. There is no one there that's going to pick up the slack if you decide to just throw it to the side and let it be. That's just the way it is. With a business, you have to grow it and you have to nurture it. 
or it will just die. And anyone who owns a physical business or online business will tell you that that is true. Reason number three, you didn't want to put in the hard work. Building a business is hard work, plain and simple. It doesn't matter if it's a physical business or online business or starting a blog. It will require hard work. Any successful business owner will tell you that to be true. Doesn't matter if they own an online business or physical business. It's still true. It's hard work. Hey, I work a full-time job. I'm a mom. I do DIY stuff at home, craft stuff and home improvement stuff. And I still run my blog. Yeah, I'm a busy gal. I choose my son when he goes to his high school football games. I take photography for the school. All right. So I'm a busy mom and I still do this. I do it part time and I'm earning money from it and it's going to grow. But I have to be patient with myself and I have to be dedicated to it because it's not going to go anywhere if I don't do it. Your moms, your dads out there are raising kids easy. Oh, heck no. Come on. Raising kids is hard work. Re growing a business is also hard work. Nothing different. In the beginning, there's a whole lot more upfront work in starting a business than it is as you go through it because then you get into a groove of building your business. You get a schedule set up and it makes it easier to maintain and build out. So be patient with yourself. It will take time. It does take hard work, but hey, you're raising those awesome kids. Yours cut out for hard work. You can do it. I know you can because you're rocking it and you are awesome. Also, when you put in the hard work and you can see results, you feel gratification. You are very gratified. Hey, when my older son, when he gets ready to graduate high school and he gets out of high school and he goes to college, I'm going to feel immense joy and gratification that I raised a young man to go out into the world. So I know that uh, I'm going to have a lot of gratification over that. And I know parents who have already went through that, watching their kids graduate from high school and college feel the same way too. So don't worry. There are ups, there are ups and downs to everything and you will feel good as you start to see your business grow and more money coming in. You got this. Come on. If you're a parent, your mom, come on. You can do this. There's just no reason you can't. If you have questions or concerns or you need help with starting your blog, just let me know. Questions, comments below. Like and subscribe. I can help you. Reason number four, the delayed gratification mindset. This is something that's really hard in our culture. Why? It's because we're used to having instant gratification in our culture. You can click that thing online at Amazon and it'll be at your house tomorrow if you have Amazon Prime. Um, you can run out to the store and get that thing that you really wanted or you can go to the fast food joint and go to the drive-thru and get that Big Mac that, you've always, that you are craving right now. So, when it comes to blogging or running any business, you have to get used to the delayed gratification mindset. That What does that mean, delayed gratification mindset? That means not having the reward right away. I mean, come on. Um, if you're a parent and you have kids, you're trying to teach them the value of hard work and the value that comes from that and not always getting the reward right away. Like uh, when I'm trying to work with my son on his homework and telling him it's like if you put the hard work into your paper you're going to see the reward after you turn it in and you're going to get that A and surprise surprise mom's right he does get that A because he put in the hard work he didn't really enjoy doing it he didn't like having to put in that hard work and delay the gratification of just playing video games right now and and instead of writing that paper but it worked Hey, um, you're used to gra delayed gratification. Let's say, say Christmas or your birthday or a special occasion where you know you're gonna get a gift or that promotion at work. It's like, it's that gift that you know is coming 
but you can't open it just yet. It's sitting on that counter and you know it, but you can't open it just yet. It's just like that. It is worth the wait. I promise you it is. And uh, let's say, for instance, you complete a task in, in your business. Like uh, you got that four post series written or you uh, got your promotions done for that post or you just set up a new um, launch page for your new product that you're making. And don't worry if you're not there yet, it's okay. It takes time. Don't um, stress or worry about that. Um, you will get there, I promise. Treat yourself. My favorite treat is uh, dark chocolate, a glass of red wine. Definitely the red wine not in the middle of the day. But uh, that, that one favorite treat you get to have um, right after you complete that, that task. It will help keep you motivated and go, maybe you need to do a vision board. What is a vision board? It is those things you really are trying to work towards. It's your goals. That nice vacation you've always wanted to take or that car you wanted or boat or whatever that thing is that you're working towards, put it on that board. So that when you feel discouraged, you can look at that and it's gonna remind you, hey, I'm working towards that. That is my gift. That is my reward. That is what I'm working towards. It will help you and uh, it will help you a lot. It will keep you going. Reason number five, blogging is not a get rich fast scheme. You wouldn't believe how many, so many new bloggers or people who just haven't been around it long or didn't have the chance to do the research or understand what was it really about, think that, oh, I write a post and I put links in there. I'm supposed to get a check from somebody because I wrote that post. No, not quite. And that's a common misconception and it's understandable, but that's not how blogging works. You're building a business online. You're using affiliate marketing or you're building your own products. Um, you're selling ad space with ad networks on your website. You're running a membership website. There's many things you can do to earn money online with your blog, but you have to treat it like a business. So many new people get disappointed because it's not that instant gratification of someone mailing them a check. That's not how blogging works. And uh, it's just because of a lot of misunderstanding on how that um, blogging works. They see all these uh, ads about, hey, I made X amount of dollars in my blog overnight or they, they sold this product and they made X amount of dollars. That's because they are seasoned, experienced bloggers knowing how to sell their products online or how to do film marketing appropriately online so they can earn that money. They know how to leverage their audience. That comes with experience. Please don't get discouraged if that doesn't happen right away for you because I'm being honest with you, it's not gonna happen right away. I have my own product line. It takes time, okay? Please be patient with yourself. It will come. You just need to work at it and it will happen. Starting an online business is affordable. I mean, all you do is pay for your hosting fee and that's the most expensive part and it's really not that much. I mean, you can pay for your hosting and it could be under 300 bucks easy or a little over 200 bucks. I mean. Really, is there any other way you could start a business online for that amount of money and your hosting fees are covered and that's for three years of hosting. That's crazy, right? Very, very affordable. Building a business online or any business requires you to invest your time and money. Said and done, it doesn't matter if it's an online or physical business, it is required. <laughs> any business owner will tell you that that they spent a lot of time and they learned how to spend their money wisely on building their business. Did I make financial mistakes in starting my business? Yes. And I can tell you how I did it. <laughs> I bought the wrong hosting plan from the wrong company. Don't make my mistake. <laughs> I should have just went with Bluehost first. <laughs> Hands down. I should just use Bluehost for my hosting. 
um, of my website. And I didn't, because I thought I was trying to save money. And I really, really wasn't. Bluehost is actually the most affordable hosting company. And I'll leave my affiliate link down below. So that way you can check it out. I even uh, did a whole post or video on the difference between the three major web hosting companies and broke it down on which one was the most affordable. I'll leave that video link down below so you can make an informed decision. If you decide to start the blog, you need to know which hosting plan to go with and what hosting group to go with. I want you to make an informed decision on what will be best for you. I hope you pick Bluehost. I've had a lot of success with them and I've also um, do affiliate marketing for them. I would suggest going with them. But um, check out my web hosting video on the three major ones and then you can make an informed decision from there. All right. Great thing about doing a business online, especially blogging, is you can work on all, your own terms. You can set your own you can set your schedule to what works best for you, so you can get that stuff out there and start building your business. One thing I really, really love about blogging and working and having an online business is it works 24/7. I make money when I'm sleeping. I make money when I'm at my nine to five job from my blog. I'm there. That's right. I can sell affiliate products and my own products and ad space while I'm at work. I set it up and I let it do its thing. It's great. Um, but there's more details into that. But once you set it up, it will do it while you're doing other stuff. It's great. Once you like to make money while you're sleeping or while you're at your nine to five job, while you're trying to build that income with your online business or while you're on vacation. Isn't that wonderful? That is just crazy. And it's great but whatever it is whatever you think online business is it is not a get rich fast game ever it takes time to build reason number six you fail to invest in yourself so what does that really mean if you do not take a course or some kind of training to further your knowledge of how to build your business you are just spinning your wheels Especially if you don't really know what you're doing. Also, did you know that the training you take to help build your business, you can take off on taxes too. You need to save your receipts to prove that you bought it. That way you have the dates and the cost, but you can take it off on taxes. I guarantee you doing online, taking online course training to build your business is far cheaper than college. How do I know this? is because I have a degree in web design development and design. That degree was way more expensive than any of the trainings I have taken to build my business. And I haven't even scratched the surface to get close to how much I spent on my degree. So I do have a degree in building websites and running. And that's why it was easy for me to write to build my blog. So I can help you build your website. I have, a, I have a training course that takes you from start to finish so you can start monetizing it and make money from it and start writing posts. I can take you from start to finish on getting started all the way to where you can start building, an, um, building your posts and making money with it. I can help you get there. You just have to get started. If you're interested in my course, I will leave the link down below. And um, if you have questions about it, leave it in the comments or you have questions about it, leave it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to talk with you and answer your questions. Reason number seven, I'm too old or young to start a business. It really has nothing to do with your age. It really doesn't. I mean, I'm blown away when I see stories on social media or in the news of kids in grade school or in junior high or high school that started their own business online with the support of their parents. Holy cow. I wish I had that flexibility when I was their age because back when I was growing up, the internet was just starting up and uh, there wasn't that kind of flexibility back then. Social media was so not a thing back in the 90s. So it wasn't a thing and starting an online business wasn't really a thing either. So there's so much flexibility and latitude for anyone of any age to start a business, especially to start a blog. I mean, 
the older generation, hey, you have so much knowledge you can share with the rest of us, putting it in a blog so we can search it and read about it and learn is awesome. You have so much to share. You have so much experience that we can so learn from you about. I mean, you have first knowledge of history. That's crazy. I mean, we're not going to get that out of a history book for real. Your experience of what happened during that time period in history is a big deal and it's valuable. So valuable. I mean, college students, I haven't, I graduated college quite a while ago. I have a 15 year old son and another kid on the way. So that's right. I have another baby coming. College students, you can blog about what it's like to live in campus life. You can blog about how to deal with finances while you're in college, how to manage a part-time job while in while you're at college, how to manage the money. I mean, really, that will help the kids coming up behind you in junior high and high school, especially those juniors and seniors who are like, what college should I go to? What's that life like? What should I be aware of? What's it like to live in a dorm? How do I deal with a frustrating dorm mate? Really, you have experience that people younger than you do not have and they got so many questions. Share it. I mean, it's valuable. Your experience is valuable. Hey, moms who stay at home with your kids, you have value. Your experience is valuable. Things you do to, to manage and deal with your children because you're stuck at home with them. Doesn't matter if it's COVID or not. Hey, I had to homeschool my kid while I was working my nine to five. That wasn't easy. <laughs> I know it was a little easier since he was 15, but moms, you with younger kids, I know that was very hard and very stressful and you rock. You have experience that you can share with other mothers, especially mothers younger than you that were like, hey, I got a problem with my kid doing blank. How can I help them? Whatever that blank is, you can help them. Tell them about your experience and how you handled it. You have value. You have something to share that others can learn from and can really um, um, get value from. You have value. I mean, things you experience. I mean, some of you worked before you decided to stay home with your kids. You still have value. Some of you got a college degree but decided to stay home with your, kid, with your kids. You still have value. You can share on a blog with other people. Maybe you just want to learn a new um, hobby. You can use that too. So you have value. Age is not the issue. Growing, um, starting a blog is affordable and you can grow it with what you know or think you want to learn. I mean, you have to want to learn if you want to do a blog. Don't let self doubt cripple you into submission to not take the jump and get started. I know starting a new thing can be scary, but you don't have to be scared. I can help you start a blog. I've helped other women start a blog. I can help you. I have a training that can help you get from, from where you are right now, right now today, all the way to getting your blog up and running, how to monetize it so you can make money from it, how to write your posts, I mean, get you started. I can help you get started and you can get started today. So I'll leave a link down below to my training course on how to get started from start to finish. You can get it done in one week, really one week. You can get me to help you. I'm an experienced web developer and I've done it for over 15 years. I put all my knowledge in my training course on how to do it the easy way. So that way, all you do is just follow along with me. And if you have questions, you can ask me. I hope you like my video. Like and subscribe. Down below, I have my checklist for avoiding those seven pitfalls so you don't fail as a blogger. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. This is Michelle from NerdyMomsUnited.com.